I'm on a vacation right now, but Bitcoin bulls, definitely not as they flirt with $42,000. Cardano, sleeping giant in the... What is up everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. Hit the subscribe and like on the way in. Let's jump into the video. So this is Bitcoin. We're gonna pivot over to Cardano. Bitcoin on the monthly. Check it out, everybody. Bitcoin broke $42,000. I was tweeting about it. Everybody on crypto Twitter tweeting about it. By the way, if there's any background noise, forgive me. I'm, I'm on a mini vacation, a getaway with the family. So let's dive in. Monthly chart. How is this monthly gonna close? I, I suspect green. We're getting very close to a monthly close. I just wanted to get a nice little snapshot of what that looks like. But I want to pivot over to the weekly chart. I want to talk about something. This is it. And we, we've been talking about this since Bitcoin was consolidating all the way down here around $30,000. We've been talking about Bitcoin getting that, that pullback up to the 20-week moving average, that green line that you see there. This is the true test. And we have to be very careful I think Bitcoin's going to break it. I think we're going to be above, back above that 20-week moving average because I think we're in the middle of this bull market. But just to give you a sense, this is Bitcoin entering the bull market, or I'm sorry, entering the bear market, getting rejected off of this 20-week moving average, continuing into the bear market. That's a move that a lot of the bears are waiting for. Bitcoin right now just slowly making its way back up. We were just at $30,000 not long ago, everybody, even sub $30,000. Now Bitcoin testing the $42,000 area as I do this video. And there's a lot, a lot to look for on these charts right now. So real quick, quick glance at the RSI. Important because along the lines of that 20 week moving average resistance we're talking about, we want to break. If you look at the RSI and what I want you to put your attention to is this RSI here and also the RSI when Bitcoin did get rejected off of that 20 week moving average at the beginning of the bear market. So let's open up the RSI right now so we can see, see this more clear. So you see Bitcoin just getting rejected here off of this red line area, right? We got the bounce right now off of this 45 area on the weekly RSI, and we're cruising up into this general vicinity of historical resistance. Remember, Bitcoin, before it really tanked into the bottom of the bear market, that last capitulation, really consolidated all in this range on the RSI. Bitcoin is in that range now. So the bears and people that think we're in a bear market right now, you know they're right now just like, look, we're in this range. Bitcoin's going to stay in this range. We're going to see some more resistance here. We're going to come back down. We're going to capitulate eventually. They're looking for the bear market move that we had before. Now, for Bitcoin to completely diverge from that, we're going we're gonna to need to see Bitcoin break above that 20-week moving average, but also break above this line. Is it going to be in the short term? Is it going to be in the next week or two? that Bitcoin's actually making a move above this line, diverging from historical data, that historical bear market. That's something I'm watching on Bitcoin. If we're looking at Bitcoin on the daily, this is what we're watching. We have the 20, uh, the 20 moving average, 20 day moving average here, this green line just trending up, getting ready to cross above that 50 day moving average. Check this out. Bitcoin, the last time it made this cross in October, 2020, right before Bitcoin entered the bull market, and there are, bull, there are the bull market doors right here, that green rectangle. It's a long-term Fibonacci that we always talk about on this YouTube channel. We want to see Bitcoin get in this environment above the 20-day moving average, where the 20-day moving average is above the 50-day, that blue line, and we want to just see those higher highs and higher lows, the continuation of this bull market for Bitcoin. That's what it looks like. We have short-term bull target to the upside, 47,000 area, and a short-term bear market or bear move into the $35,000 area. That $37,000 area is so critical for Bitcoin because if you go back to this weekly chart, that 20 week moving average, right around 44,000. This is the move on the six hour, and there we go, for Bitcoin to really get above that 20 week moving average. That 20 week moving average on the six hour chart is like right here. Bitcoin is just below it, everybody. The test is here. Um, the bulls have showed up in the short term. We've made the move from this $30,000 area. You know, just if you look at the daily chart, it's just crazy. 10 daily candle closes in a row. Um, and here we are, Bitcoin truly, truly testing an, a, an increased breakout uh, as we break through this upper trend line. Be prepared for downside at all times. If you go back to the daily, the daily, the daily chart, 
these moving averages, as we get overextension from this area, be very careful for Bitcoin to retrace to these areas. We're talking about this 50-day moving average and the and the 20-day, right around $34,000, $35,000. It's that bear move target for Bitcoin. Be very careful of that. Doesn't necessarily mean Bitcoin's in a long-term bear move, but a consolidation like that is normal in potential continuation to the upside. So we're going to continue tracking that. Let's pivot over now to Cardano, the sleeping giant. Why is this sleeping giant? You zoom out on this daily chart and we know when we're zooming out i don't have my rectangle up on the screen right now but you know all up in here in the september area smart contracts and if bitcoin is going to continue its move to the upside guess what cardano i truly truly think is going to outperform the ecosystem of cardano is absolutely exploding it's already been exploding smart contracts is just going to be that that ridiculous you know cherry on top um, of what cardano has accomplished just even in the last year alone and so we have the multi asset led uh we have the multi asset ledger we have the uh staking mechanism and bic or cardano getting ready truly to kind of complete what has what has really been building for the last year um coming to fruition the smart contracts um and right now we're getting so close it's ridiculous so what I want to talk about on Cardano is a couple things, and it's mainly resistance. It is a sleeping giant. I think Cardano could truly explode, but right now Cardano is at this 50-day moving average, and this 50-day moving average is confluent with this midterm resistance that we've been tracking. So swing high to swing low, we've been tracking it. I've been talking about it. Cardano, just think about this. So when we put in this low and we really started tracking this Fibonacci resistance, Cardano actually it's up there it made it to resistance this dollar 30 area at the 618 um, up to the 786 at the dollar 38 cardano it performed to get us to this point but confluent with resistance right now is this 50-day moving average really have to be careful but what we want to watch for is if cardano breaks above the 50-day moving average and starts getting some separation from that area and then separates from the 786 at a dollar 39 dollar 40 we can really start talking about bullish confirmation at that stage. If we go to the six hour, this is what we're watching for. Cardano, Card and, and I actually put sleeping giant in the title basically because Cardano is like, as Bitcoin's breaking out, right, of its own little patterns and putting in these higher highs and higher lows, Cardano, if you just look at this six hour chart, you know, for the last three days or so has really kind of been sleeping. And so if we get Cardano and probably all their altcoins will, will also do the same. If we get the Cardano breakout, um, we have a target to the upside, which is $1.43 on the short term chart. Now, $1.43 going back to the to the daily chart is above the 786 line. And this will be really, I mean, one of, I mean, this would be the first time on these midterm charts since we saw all time highs that Cardano actually flips around this lower high trend that it's been in lower high lower high lower high and the reason why that is is because breaking a midterm fibonacci resistance like this is where the trend reversal begins and so we're not there yet and that's why we haven't really talked too much about bullish confirmation on cardano but we're getting very close and it truly is a sleeping giant um, as as we watch all crypto markets right now and so what I want to take a glance at as well is if we look at the daily chart um, on Cardano, we talked about this, uh, I think in the last, I think maybe a live stream last night, Cardano broke a trend line that we have here from the beginning of June on this RSI of momentum. So momentum shift is in play. And the reason I'm bringing this up is yes, it looks good. We get the momentum shift, even on this RSI now, we're putting in a new high. It's awesome to see that. However, and by the way, I should note this, as we're putting in this new high from this July 4th move on the RSI, notice how price is not above where price was then. So it's, it's kind of this bullish divergence here on the RSI. Could be an indicator of showing us what momentum is looking like for, for Cardano, and it's looking pretty good. But I want to just say that now that we put this in, there, there may be patience needed. And if there's gonna be retracement or consolidation across Bitcoin, crypto markets in general, be, be aware that Cardano could take another dip and we might not be climbing out into that bullish reversal just yet. It might take some patience, maybe into August before that happens. So be prepared for downside. 
this, you know, it's nice to see crypto in general up. However, um, we're at a very key midterm resistance and it might not be as easy as one, two, three for Cardano to make the move above. So um, be patient in that regard. But this is what I'm watching on Cardano. Bitcoin doing its own thing on the six hour chart, right? Getting these moves, these higher highs, higher lows, a little bit different looking on Cardano. It's kind of more of sideways, sideways look and feel to it. Um, so let's be patient. Let's see what happens. Let's see what transpires. Uh, and here we go. We got the upper momentum on the six hour chart. There's a lot of room even on the short term for Cardano to make some moves, not even close to overbought on the RSI on the six hour. So short term momentum to the upside is there. It's available. Will it happen? That's what I'll be watching for tonight. That's what I'll be watching for, you know, on this little mini getaway that we're on right now. So I wanted to throw it out there. We'll do a quick video for you. Hit the like for me. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I appreciate you cruising by. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.